the current value uh, you observe that one for every 5 degrees you will go for that one current value is noted you are clearly observing that one and now up to 40 because of up to 40 your room temperature is 27 so it will take 80 to 40 is a half an hour time 40 to 30 it will take more than one hour that's why the students are taken up to 80 to 40 so you got uh, 80 in degrees you have to call, um, write in kelvins add 273 every 80 plus 273 75 plus 273 you are getting these values t is in kelvins 1 by t you do it so you are getting 2.8 into 10 to the power of some minus 3 10 to the power of minus 3 is written upper side so now you already taken that one current values current values you have taken log base e uh, current value so you take out here log ln in your calculator so ln values you are getting don't take here logarithm of in your calculator take you ln value you take out that one okay so using these values uh, we are getting here that one so graph graph you have to get here that one so 1 by t versus uh, log that value value the points you are getting now using the points you have to draw that one line that one so you are getting the points like this so one point like this you are getting so now you have to find out using the two or three points you're going to join that one so straight line you have to draw that one one or two points will going to remain um, uh, other side of that one both the sides of that one line so so you take out from this graph uh, you take out any two points any two points you take out on the line so draw here that one you're getting the i2 and i1 values so you are draw like this getting that one so one by t values we are getting that one so this is consider that one so i2 i2 values. so here you are to consider this is y2 y1 slope i am going to find out this is x2 x1 x2 x1 you are getting x2 x1 the slope value in that one slope is equal to y2 minus y1 by so x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 y2 y1 you are getting from here and i uh, taken that one x2 x1 you are getting taken you are taken here that one carefully observe when you are taking the 1 by t values 1 by t values he is written here 10 to the power of minus 3 most of the people are not writing 10 to the power of minus 3 he is uh, drawn here like this student one of the student is drawn that one so he's taken uh, 1 by t into 10 to the power of minus 3 here only he written the current value log uh, logarithm of uh, logarithm of current he is taken that one the graph we are getting like that he's taken very lengthy scale uh, you reduce here start from here the scale when origin you are not starting with uh, uh, zero you had right here that one origin of this one so xx unit uh, origin is started with this some voltage some some uh, logarithm values okay you have to write mention that one. he started uh, from zero that one that uh, scale that's why he is not written here that one xx is uh, uh, what is the xx origin y axis origin directly he written that one xx is one unit value how much uh, y axis value one unit value how much uh, he got the points like that okay he drawn the that one straight line i taken any two points and uh, he observed the slope slope he calculated the slope value he got that one 5.08 into the power of uh, 3 value you are getting y plus 10 to the power of minus 3 downside you have i will go upside 10 to the power of plus 3 so now he substituted inside the formula the formula you have seen that this is the formula slope i have to substitute here so he substituted the slope value here you are getting 0.8 electron volts 0.8 electron volts is the meaning that one point electron volts so germanium generally we have that one so germanium uh, we have that one the range is a 0.7 is the range means it will get uh, you are you are starting with a 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 range you have to get so silicon we have to go for that one silicon so silicon is a one point exact value is 1.1 .1 electron volts so, uh, so electron volts we have that one so we we'll start from that one 1 1.0 uh, not a problem that one 1.15 uh, it is not a problem up to this is the range we have at one silicon this is the range of uh, germanium the result you are going to write here like this uh, energy gap of a, a given semiconductor is 0 0.7 electron volts this is the way you have to do that one experiment right clear that one so this is the way you are finding energy gap of a semiconductor semiconductor that one okay what is the given semiconductor you are given germanium or silicon so what you have that one this this semiconductor inside you are going to observe that one semiconductor so this is the semiconductor so yeah so by the experiment we are going to confirm that one these semiconductors this is the semiconductor generally you observe that one yeah, this is the semiconductor is now confirmed from that value is a germanium is a semiconductor clear or not this is a semiconductor just okay thank you for watching the video